श्री कुम्मानम राजशेखरन जी फॉर्मर गवर्नर ऑफ मिजोरम श्री ओ राजगोपाल जी फॉर्मर मिनिस्टर एंड मेंबर ऑफ द असेंबली संपूज्य चिरानंदपुरी स्वामी जी हेड अद्वैता आश्रम कोड़ीकोट संपूज्य ब्रह्मा पदानंद स्वामी जी प्रेसिडेंट श्री रामदास मिशन तिरुवनंतपुरम श्री विवेक रंजन अग्निहोत्री वेरी प्रोमिनेंट फिल्म मेकर श्री एस राजशेखरन नायर जी चेयरमैन अनंतापुरी हिंदू महासम्मेलन श्री एम गोपाल प्रेसिडेंट हिंदू धर्म परिषद श्री युवराज गोकुल जनरल कन्वीनर अनंतापुरी हिंदू महासम्मेलनम प्रिय सहोदरी सहोदरन मारे एलावर को मेंटे वंदनम आई हैव विद मी माय प्रिपेयर्ड स्पीच बट इफ यू अलाउ मी आई वुड लाइक टू डिपार्ट फ्रॉम द रिटिन टेक्स्ट नहीं जरूरत नहीं अभी नहीं जरूरत एंड सिंस द सब्जेक्ट विच आर बींग डिस्कस्ड हेयर आई फाइंड देम वेरी क्लोज टू माई हार्ट दे आर फॉर एन आवर बैक आई डिसाइडेड टू इग्नोर द टेक्स्ट and express articulate my own feelings on the subject i am so happy that this sammelan is being held in which very leading saints are participating Our tradition says, "Santo Bhumi Tapasa Dharyanti." It is because of the the word used is tapaso, but they do tapas for acquiring insight into reality. they discover universal principles nat laws of nature and if we live our life in accordance with those laws which are universally applicable which are ordained by nature then surely what just now swami ji was saying the gist was that if you want to be successful then it is absolutely essential to combine wisdom and action yogeshwar and dhanurdhar so it is through them that we can be inspired to live a life in a manner where we attain success if there is any problem in i'm i'm really ashamed of myself that after 2 years although i have developed i i I have developed understanding. I can understand Malayalam, but still I am not in a position to speak. So I, I really regret it. But Hari Ji is sitting here. I can call him to the uh, stage to translate me if if uh, you feel so. And if you are comfortable, then I will continue because that will take less time. So basically. when we talk about dharma parishad 
तो क्वेश्चन कम्स टू माइंड व्हाट इज धर्म धर्म इज द ह्यूमन बीइंग्स नो ह्यूमन बीइंग इज एन आइलैंड अनटू हिमसेल्फ नो बडी इज इन अ पोजीशन टू लिव एन आइसोलेटेड लाइफ वी नीड अ सोसाइटी and when the society comes into existence then there is another human tendency where one wants to dominate the uh, over the others that gives rise to conflicts how to resolve those conflicts how to make it possible for persons who have not only persons who speak different languages or subscribe to different faith traditions but even people in one family children of the same family they do not have similar attitudes if the unity of the family is to be maintained then there is always a code of conduct that code of conduct which can handle larger societies which can find solution to the conflicts that is that i feel is what dharma basically means where people of different backgrounds and you know this is not a nobody should be mistaken that this is a new phenomena no in india right from the vedic ages the very famous quote ekam sad vipra bahuda vadanti we have always believed that diversity reality is one eko deva sarv bhuteshu guha सर्वव्यापी सर्वभूतांतर आत्मा कर्म प्रधान सर्वभूताधिवासी साक्षी चेता केवलो निर्गुणोच्चा वी हैव ऑलवेज बिलीव्ड इन दैट वन बट वी हैव ऑलवेज एक्नोलेज फ्रीडम ऑफ ईच इंडिविजुअल टू एक्सपीरियंस दैट रियलिटी in accordance with her own genius and express the devotion to that reality in a manner which is suitable to her own genius this is what indian ethos stand for aakashat patitam toyam yatha gachhati sagaram सर्व देवा नमस्कारा केश केशवम प्रीति गच्छति वॉट एवर नेम यू वॉन्ट टू गिव वॉट एवर मोड ऑफ अप्रोच यू वॉन्ट टू हैव इन विच एवर वे यू एक्सप्रेस यू आर्टिकुलेट योर डिवोशंस सो अवर ऋषि सेज that like every drop which comes from the sky in the form of rain ultimately merges into the sea so every devotion expressed to any god ultimately reaches keshavam this is what indian and no no dispute on mode of expression mode of approach and it has been said the purpose of the dharma i mean one is what i told you all earlier from the word comes from dhirti dharana which holds society together which is able to resolve the conflicts which is able to create harmony which is able to create sense of belonging sense of fraternity sense of dignity as human being and then elsewhere it has been said 
ಅಭ್ಯುದಯ ನಿಶ್ರೇಯಸ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಸಾಧರ್ಮ ವಾಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಲೈಫ್ ಅ ಲೈಫ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಸ್ಪೆರಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಅಟೇನ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಬಿಯೋಂಡ್ ಲೈಫ್ this question of beyond has the human civilizations show that man has been fascinated with this question of beyond who am i where i have come from and where i will go this has engaged human attention and particularly particularly i am saying because this is a special forte of india where number of the so many of our rishis and munis they devoted their lives to find answer to this question and when they realized the truth they experience it then our tradition tells us and i want to mention about it especially because this is an area we are where we have faltered we have blundered we have not been true to our heritage and which possibly has been the cause why for a long period of time history has not been very fair to us the indian tradition tells us this, there is a dialogue in upanishad which says before that the goal of what is the goal of human life Swami Vivekananda says that the aim of human life is to keep striving for the acquisition of knowledge all life that is something we are nothing is in excess tapa so adhyay nirattam ever devoted to the pursuit of knowledge and when you gain some insight into the reality then what happens then a an upanishadic dialogue tells us question was asked what is tapa many answers were given discipline austerity self imposed something which one which is not imposed by any outsider but self discipline which you enjoy but the answer which got real recognition and was applauded was tapa is ಸ್ವ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪಿರ್ ವಚನ್ ಎಕ್ವಿಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಆರ್ ಶೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಿತ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ವೇ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ efforts is striving to acquire knowledge ever ceased in india but for a period of time we were not making that knowledge public 
in fact access to knowledge was denied and that is why indian society got weakened it became vulnerable 50 okay so we have to but fortunately more than 150 years back our thought leaders again woke up to the reality and i would like here to quote because now this is it is not on us to liberate ourselves from that thing we have already been liberated in fact now i think oh rajgopal ji was member of that cabinet which took the decision to make education universal and compulsory up to the age of 14 years but in order to make it whatever decision has been taken so far lot needs we still need to do so many things and we must always keep in our mind what swami vivekanand had said he said as long as millions live in ignorance and poverty i shall hold every one a traitor very strong word a traitor who having been educated there at their expense pays no heed to them we must always remember the indian tradition of dharma it does not admit you know uh, mostly in religious congregations we talk about good and evil but indian tradition has given us the concept of good is there but it has not used the word evil for the opposite of the good it has used the word vipreet bhakti for instance the famous characters in the history hiranyakashyap and his brother ravan and kumbhakaran kans and uh, what is the name bhagwan krishna's cousin who abused him one time shishupal shishupal you know what our tradition tells us they are actually incarnation of jay and vijay the gate keepers of lord vishnu who were cursed by some rishis because as gate keepers they were under instruction that lord is sleeping nobody should be allowed in they did not and when they were cursed that you will go away from here take human birth then they wailed and they complained to the lord that we have committed no wrong but you will have to go through this this curse but then help us help i will give you in the sense that i myself will take birth and will liberate you from the condition in which you will be born what is the lesson there the lesson is that you know look world over look at the civilizations civilizations were defined by similarity of race similarity of language spoken similarity of faith indian civilization is the only civilization which was not defined either by race or by language or by even religious faith bharateshu istriya purusho nana varna prakritite nana devarchane yukta nana karmani kurvate our civilization was defined by atma 
लैंग्वेज इज एक्सक्लूशनरी रेस इज एक्सक्लूशनरी रिलीजियस फेथ इज एक्सक्लूशनरी यू क्रिएट अदर्स एंड वेन यू डिफाइन अ कल्चर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आत्मा आत्मा इज ऑल इंक्लूसिव इट डज नॉट एक्सक्लूड इवन प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स if they are in pain you will you must if we are true to our indian heritage then we must feel pain not only of the suffering human beings but also the pain of the animals and the plants we must also do a famous famous kapil muni devahuti samvad atmam sarveshu bhuteshu bhutatmanam kirtalayam अर्चाए दान मानाभ्यम मैत्री अभिनय चक्षुषा आई डुएल इन एवरी बींग देर फोर कंसिडर एवरी बींग एज माई टेम्पल दे ही दे वाले है एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वर्शिप मी देन रेस्पेक्ट एवरी बींग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वर्शिप मी देन हेल्प एवरी वन हु इज इन नीड and develop an attitude of non separateness abhin chakshusha this is what our heritage is we have a duty unfortunately last few hundred years history the impression is there as if our history is of fighting in the name of religion fighting in the name of caste fighting in the name of language no that is not our heritage we respect and accept diversity all kind of diversity we have always believed that one single interpretation of reality all people must not be confined to one single interpretation of reality everybody is free spirit is a concept which india has given and always remember you know one of my favorite shlok when bhagwan krishna try to put some wisdom into the head of uh, senior cor of prince uh, duryodhan then duryodhan told him janami dharmam na chame pirvritti janami adharmam na chame nivritti केनापि देवेन हृदय स्थेन यथो नियुक्त तथो करोमि देर इज सम पावर सिटिंग इन साइड माय हार्ट आई नो व्हाट इज राइट आई नो व्हाट इज रॉन्ग बट देर इज समबडी डायरेक्टिंग मी ड्वेलिंग इन साइड माय हार्ट हु इज डायरेक्टिंग मी सो एवरीबडी नोज इट only thing is what is that he is saying kenapi devi devi is not sitting there it is our unwholesome desires which are sitting there now there is a beautiful i do not know how many of them you will understand because it is in hindi but beautifully it has been put by a hindi poet he says ram maryada purushottam एक वचनी एक बानी एक पत्नी ही वॉज द रेस्पेक्टर ऑफ रूल्स नॉर्म्स एवरीथिंग एंड ही हैड ही स्टूड बाय हिज वर्ड बाय हिज वेपन एंड हैड वन वाइफ स्टूड बाय हर कृष्ण लीला पुरुषोत्तम माखन चो चित चोर यूज टू स्टील हार्ट्स नहीं फर्स्ट माखन चोर यूज टू स्टील बटर चित चोर यूज टू स्टील हार्ट एंड रन चोर दी अटैक ऑन अयोध्या ऑन मथुरा ही फ्लैट टू द्वारका सो हाउ दिस बोथ आर अवतार्स ऑफ भगवान विष्णु हाउ डू यू रिकनसाइल द टू वॉट इज कॉमन दे आर बिटवीन टू टू one was a stickler for rules the other bent the rules did not break it but bent the rules how do you reconcile 
both of them whatever they did they did not do it for selfish reasons they do it for the public good that is the factor what is primary thing is that i should not be motivated by my selfish interest but as mahatma gandhi has said and here i should mention swami ji the tribute which was paid by uh, famous newspaper of london guardian after the death of mahatma gandhi guardian in its editorial wrote only a country like india and only a religious tradition like hinduism could have produced a man like gandhi and gandhi ji said he says the same thing he said whatever you are doing the only yardstick is and you should apply it anywhere or when you are taking the decision which affects others whether your action your decision is going to benefit the weakest the last person if it is beneficial to him then it is okay and if it does not serve the interest of those who are at the lowest step of the ladder then there is something wrong with your action and with your decision i hope this this great heritage of ours i think i should add this one more point and then i will take your leave among the ancient civilizations india is the only continuing civilization maybe the egyptian civilization was older than us even greek may claim that their civilization was older but today today's greek almost today's egypt they occupy the same geographical area but they have no connection with the ancient egypt or ancient greek greece the ancient civilization and ancient of greece and egypt they are not even aware of it that language is being decipher has been deciphered now so there was total disconnect between the old egypt and greece and the contemporary greece on the other hand india almost occupies the same area but it is connected with the past we still believe adore greatly value the value system which was discovered by ancient india when we listen when we read our classics our great writers then we listen to the same heart beats same universal ideals same message and if there is continuity then we have a duty we have every right to feel proud of our ancient heritage but we must also be concerned and careful that we preserve that heritage because that heritage has a universal outlook india has never viewed a person in terms of the alienable and variable characteristics like caste creed community the factors associated with birth instead india has always viewed a person in terms of the invariable and inalienable characteristic that is atma swami vivekananda says my mission can be put into simple words i want to teach unto mankind their divinity and its manifestation in all movements of life i hope this sammelan will will create greater awareness about our cultural heritage and we shall do everything to preserve that cultural heritage and to promote it thank you very much